Hey, Paul. Hey, welcome. Man. Happy holidays, uh, Serge. Hey, Bianca. Hey, hey, hey. You get together. Hey, Bo. Serge, what's, what's up, bro? Welcome. How you doing, You got man? no jacket? You know, cold? Man, I'm a Canadian now. I don't need it. Feliz Navidad. Feliz, Feliz Navidad, Navidad, Serge. Feliz Navidad, yeah. <laughs> Serge asked me to help him out with his holiday dinner, so we got some assistance from some holiday helpers. Awesome, thank you. Ooh. Looks good here. Thought I was gonna be at the head of the table, but that's cool. You guys as nervous as me or no? Hello, Canada. Welcome to the holiday halftime special. What's up? Thank you for having me. Welcome. Thank Paul, you. you gonna behave tonight? Yes, I am, and I just wanna say thank you for having me. I don't usually get to hang out with the cool kids, and this is pretty special for me. Hey, Chef Matt, what are we serving everybody tonight? Uh, we're serving Christmas dinner. This is uh, a ladies little, first. Oh, so this is a little yeah. 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 What a gentleman. <laughs> well, there's something very special on that plate. It's Congolese goat. Can you point that one out, please? Yeah. <laughs> Just so I can maybe uh, avoid can it. Can I guess? This one right oh. here. Okay. So what is the traditional food growing up and compared to now? My mom used to cook a lot of Romanian food. They're from Romania. But now, since I'm barely home for Christmas, I kind of just eat at restaurants, I guess. So that's um, why you like uh, sushi now. <laughs> I guess so. Every time I uh, had the opportunity to come back home for Christmas, I tried to because I love celebrating with my family and friends. I'd say the same thing here. Ever since I went to play junior, it was hard getting home, but I, I would sometimes get to make it, and it would be nice to see the family put the Christmas tunes on. A lot of old old school tracks, though, not the new stuff. Like uh, the Nat that, King huh? Cole. The classics. The classic Christmas carols. We, we throw on the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which is a standard. I'm pre pretty sure you've seen that, no? I don't think so. What, with Chevy Chase? No. You seen it? No. No. I... Guys, come on. That's got to be on your list. Yeah, this I don't Christmas, know who Chevy Chase is. This Christmas, put it on your list. You got to get it. I, I could never sleep that night. <laughs> yes. my alarm. Like, I thought that was going to make it go by quicker, you know? My family's Christmas has pretty much always been the same. It got a little bit more difficult to get home because my brother plays in the NHL. And... I travel a lot. It's a lot harder to like wrangle everyone together, but we try our best to. When I was little, my parents always let me open one present at midnight, and then in the morning we would go feed the homeless before they let me open up the rest of the presents. So now that I'm older, my mom started her own thing, so we go downtown, you know, where I live and under a bridge, and every Christmas morning we go feed the homeless and, and try to connect with them a little that, bit. That's and, beautiful. And so that's that's, awesome. that's, that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. Kind of one up us there, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> We're that's all there's a few. My first time when I moved to the States on Christmas, and I saw everybody talking about, oh, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you're going to see the gift on the tree, under the trees. Oh, that was like, what is that? I never, I never had that when I, was, when I was young back home. You never got a basketball for Christmas? I never, I never had a gift for Christmas. Oh, man. Yeah. But life was good. I was happy, happy kids and uh, playing basketball every day. You know, basketball was my life. So we, we grew up in different circumstances. We come from different places. Absolutely. At the end of the day, you know, we are who we are, right? And if we're healthy, that's all that matters. Exactly. And here I'm, I'm here with you guys, beautiful people. So I'm thankful for this. Yes, me too. Yeah. Good meeting you today, Bo. OK, it's time to eat. Let's start with the craziest one. This is the no, goat, it's right? not, trust me. No, now, it's, it's not the craziest one. Try. I never had it. OK, I'm going to try the goat first, actually. Are we all trying the goat right now? Yes, try. You tell me what you think about it. Oh, it's just steak. It tastes like a better version of steak. Yeah. Exactly. I think Thank so, too, yeah. I've exactly. only had goat once. The steak is very chewy. This is very soft. Do you try it, right? This is very soft. It's good. Guys, I, I know I have a hard time doing it because I'm traveling so much with the media career. Not even so much when I was playing because meals were set up for us. In the NHL, not a big deal. But how do you guys maintain a healthy diet when traveling? You guys have your own chefs? Like, what's going on? For me, it's not really that tough. I just try to cook for myself, basically. And then when I go to restaurants, I just try to order the healthiest thing on the menu. It's not easy on the road. Like, when I'm home, I eat healthy every day. What? When I'm, I'm away for three days sometimes, it's like, man. It's time for me to relax a little bit. You know what I mean? I hear you. Sometimes we go away from home yeah. for 11 days at a time. 11 days. So you know how it gets. Like, you you try your best for three days, and then three it's days. like, man, it's like, hard. it's so hard to find After healthy the stuff on the road. It's really difficult. What about you, Penny? Normally, we're in, like, a village at, like, Olympics or Olympics, Worlds yeah. or something like that. You're in, like, a little village. 
and there's a cafeteria and yeah, everything there's kind fine. of options from like, yeah, everywhere. But I know sometimes it's not the best. Serge, man, what's life been like since bringing a title to Toronto for the first time in how many years has it been? I think it's like life changing for, you know, the fans here in Canada. Yeah. And even personally for me, even for my family, it is just life changing. I've been playing in the league for 11 years and a couple of times I was close. But it's not the same. Even when you're as close, it's not the same winning. No, yeah. Right. It's even more disappointing. If I don't make it, I know our sucks. That's it. But when you get closer and then by little mistakes and then you lost, it's like... Yeah, Man. Like, like, I would rather lose in the semifinals than a the final. finals. Mm -hmm. yeah. The finals. The final, you're just like one you, step. You know, so... Um, after winning uh, this one, well, yeah, it was life changing because it kind of released pressure, of my personal depression. And when you know everybody's waiting for you to win, and when you don't, it's like... You put pressure... It's like you, you, you let everyone down. Mm -hmm. I put pressure on myself more than people putting pressure on me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, after winning, it's, it's like, good. okay, finally. Yeah. You know, it's like, now, now like, I'm, I'm really starting enjoying this game again. It's like, you start, it's like you knew. Uh, the emotional high after winning, especially a championship, I mean, U.S. Open, it's, it's indescribable afterward. I mean, I won a Calder Cup, which is not even anywhere near that type of scale, but just for, for like a week after, you feel like you have so much energy, you're getting all these messages, all this positivity. It's just, you know, I, I mentioned the emotional high is insane. It definitely yeah. feels good, especially <laughs> that last point or that last two seconds when you know you're gonna win yeah it's just incredible because you've worked so hard to achieve that you've dreamt about that ever since you were a little kid so actually achieving it is just beyond belief yeah, i remember great. watching her that win all of those medals that is inspiration right there so how did it feel for you i was really excited to honestly go and not make a final and get to cheer because I've never got to do that in my career. I've like pretty much always been in finals of races and I was like, this time I'm going to the Olympics, I'm gonna get to cheer, it's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna wear like face tattoos and like, it'll be the best time ever. Gonna get then, some autographs. Yeah, exactly. I was so excited to just go there and celebrate Canada and like have fun. But after winning, it was like insane. It, like I couldn't sleep unless I was like holding my medal and like I wasn't going to bed until 5 a.m. and it was, yeah, high. you're on such a high. Did it benefit you maybe not having that much pressure on yourself because you, you were going in just trying to embrace yeah. the whole experience and then all of a sudden you had four medals on? Yeah, I think so, 100%. I think it was just the fact that I went in and I was literally just going to have fun. This is a special soup from Congo. Anybody eat uh, peanut butter? Is that cabbage? Lost peanut not? butter. Okay, it's a peanut butter sauce. Oh, shoot. It's called fumbwa. Where I come from, we call this fumbwa. What? So wait, 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 don't start yet. Sorry, I get a little We're doing it together. And this, it's called kwanga. You eat this with the soup. Do we unravel it? Yes, open it. So you do do presents? Yeah. Huh? This is kind wait, of wait, fun. Can we dunk it? You ready? I've been waiting for, yes, I'm ready. Oh my gosh, I think this is going to taste amazing. Okay. First step, cut like this. Second step, inside. And then. Very good. Mm. Wow. I've never had anything like this. Serge, I don't want this what? going to your head, but this may be the best soup I've ever had. Okay? <laughs> really? Yes. So good. Yeah. What do you do with your hands? After? You lick them or? Huh? Do you lick your yeah, hands? Yeah, lick your head. Oh. Usually we just have both. They both might <laughs> clean me off here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I was like, they ain't paying me enough for that, miss. <laughs> Wow, Ooh, now we're going to get to enjoy some dessert. All oh, thanks yeah. to Kenny. I'm Kenny. Hi. I had a random question. Uh, yeah. Have you guys ever met your idol? I mean, I don't know who it was. I would assume MJ would be up there on the list. My idol is uh, Kevin Garnett. Legend. Yeah. So funny story is my first game against him, I was, I was, I was 19. We were on the free throw line, and you know how KG always talk, right? I just started laughing on the free throw line, because it was kind of funny to see my idol, you know, next to me and doing all that things, you know? So it was very cool. What about you guys? Who who are your idols? I played her. Yeah, we 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 heard. Serena. We know. 
Serena. That was the first time you'd ever played her was in the final? No, I think no. you guys played her. Uh, in yeah, here. I played uh, I played her here. Uh, well, she was hurt, right? Cup in Toronto. She was hurt. She retired. Yeah. Uh, she was retired? The final. Serena retired? She retired the first time. Retired just for the game. Yeah, for the game. no, yeah, just yeah. for the oh, game. Oh, for the game. No, that's yeah. that's yeah. what we yeah. call it. Yeah. She, like, pulled oh, out. Oh, you guys played retired? Or she pulled out. In basketball, retired, that's me. Yeah, done. You done. You out. Sir, not gonna lie, I was thinking the same thing as you. I actually cried before the match because I was so nervous. You cried? I cried. I had to let everything out. I had to let. You, it out. I mean, okay, okay, wait, 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 but wait, 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 so wait, wait, wait. So, let me, let me, let me understand this. So, <laughs> before the game, you have, you have to cry, like cry by yourself, like crying, like crying. I was talking to my coach before the match, and I put a lot of pressure on myself, right? And this is my hometown. I'm in the finals. No Canadian has won it in over 50 years. So I definitely put pressure on myself and then playing against one of the best of all time was just mm -hmm. so nerve wracking. I held it in. But then at that point, uh, my, co my coach gave me like this motivational talk, like win or lose, you're still a champion, blah, blah, blah. And then I just started like 10 minutes before the and game. Started not, I started crying. I was still after? wiping my tears walking on the court. So going, how did you feel after crying? Maybe oh, I, I may try amazing. one day. I'm gonna try maybe one day. Why not? <laughs> Everyone needs a good <laughs> cry. Everyone, Everyone needs a release sometimes. I mean, I don't know. Somebody I else. cried before I walked in here. You cry? You don't cry? It's like I mean, men I cry. It's like our, uh, I cry. I, I didn't say it. No, I mean, I cry. But before the game, Maybe I need, it's something I need to try now. Well, what was so impressive about her win is I remember I was getting asked a lot of questions about you because of my tennis background and everything. And, and uh, so I was following the tournament a lot. And we were in Tampa Bay. And you were on. And I was trying to watch before we went out. And it was when, like, Serena was going on a run. And I was like. When I was up 5 1, and then she won those yes. five games. Yeah. Four games, yeah. yeah Thanks was, for bringing her up, Bob. Oh, she won. She <laughs> didn't care. Yeah. So I remember I was like, I, it, it went further than I thought. So I had to go out to the field, and somebody came out and told me you won. And I was like, to do that against the best player ever, to like yes. weather that storm, Mentally. especially in a sport that you have no one to lean on, it's just you, is like a very impressive thing. I remember at one point I was like, closing my ears because you could just hear the vibration of everyone. It was it was crazy, yeah. but I work a lot mentally. But the thing is, like, were you were you calm at that point when she was coming back? No. You were freaking out, right? No, That's the thing. Like, like, oh, yeah. my God, oh, my God, I'm literally yeah. two games away from winning, and Serena has, like, a history of coming back after she's down, like, 5-0. So those true. negative thoughts are going through 100%. your head, and you're just trying to deflect them out of there? For me, it's offensively in baseball. Um, when you went yard on Kershaw twice? Yeah. So Kershaw, Kershaw is like maybe the best pitcher of the decade, and it's my only my 20th game in the major leagues. That game actually was the first time I felt like that adrenaline where you can't feel your body. And I went there and first second pitch I hit a home run and then I hit another one off him. So the ball was out. The ball went yeah gone. So you you do that? Yeah, I do that sometimes. Oh, that's me. You, you, you did it twice in one game against the best pitcher in the major leagues. And it was his 20th game. That must have, you said the adrenaline that took over. That must have That been. was pretty surreal. Did you cry too? Or no? no, I didn't cry. <laughs> anybody anybody like, sing? Two I sing. Bianca does. Give me anything. Okay. Behind okay. yeah. the scenes. <laughs> okay, we'll start with yeah, ladies first. Know. You know, it's so Christmas. A uh, little sing is going to be nice for the table. Feliz da Come on. Feliz Navidad. Okay. Hey, hey. I don't know the words. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Hey, hey. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Go, 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 go. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of our hearts. I mean, if we're still competing for our cutest couple. So far, we're, so, all, we're winning by a no, landslide no, no, over no, here. So far, it's 2-2. Two, two. What? 2-2, two, two? all right. Yeah. Yeah. Like your <laughs> we're going into OT. I'm gonna be giving Bo a foot massage here pretty soon. <laughs> oh, now it's gonna be game oh, over. There you go. That one is gonna be right. game over. We're definitely. Oh, okay. Up. Now Wait, let me, let me yeah. dunk him in a little I give water. You four. So I give you four. I give you four. Four point in this one. 